In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up an AI agent to automate your Instagram posts. Now this agent not only generates the posts for you, it also doesn't publish them until you directly approve the post. Now this workflow requires absolutely zero coding at all, and I'm going to link a free template down in the description below so you can just easily copy and paste that template into your NADN and instantly get access to this agent. Now I'm going to start by giving you a quick demo of this agent, and then I'm going to walk you through how this workflow actually works and how you can set this up for yourself. So to actually interact with this agent, I can come over to Telegram and just prompt it something like, So as you can see here, it gave us the uh, image for the post, and then right below it, it gave us the caption here, along with some hashtags, and then I can either tap post or do not post. So let's say I don't like this, so I'll just click do not post. It opens this link, which I'll tell you about later. I'm going to close that, and then I can reprompt it and say, So you can see it's remade that same post, gives us another image and then another caption here. And let's say I like this and I actually want this to be posted. So all I have to do is just click post. Again, it opens that link that I'll tell you about later. I just close out of that and I can go back to my Instagram and you can see it's been posted to my account on Instagram. So if you've downloaded this template, all you have to do is make a new workflow inside of NADN, which you can do by going to the home overview page inside of your NADN account. You're just going to go up to the top right and select create a new workflow and then these three dots here in the top right you're just going to select that and then you're going to select import from a file and you're just going to select that json file that you've just downloaded from the resource uh, in the description so then once you've got this workflow inside of your NADN account we then need to connect your accounts so you can actually start using this agent so i'm going to walk you through from the beginning to the end of this workflow and show you actually how to set up your accounts and connect them to NADN. So here we've got a trigger for a Telegram chat. Uh, this just starts the automation off. And to actually connect your account, you're first going to need a Telegram account. So after you've created your Telegram account, you're going to start a conversation with what is called Botfather. The username is at Botfather. You can see here. You're going to do forward slash start to start a conversation. And then we're going to type forward slash new bot to create a new bot. It will uh, prompt you to name it here. And then after you've named and created the bot, it will give you a link to chat with that bot. And then it, give you, it will give you an API access token here. So you're going to copy that access token. And we can go back into NADN. You're going to double click on this Telegram trigger. Select this drop down, And then you're going to create a new, or create a new connection. So you're going to paste in the access token here. Click Save and then your uh, Telegram account will actually be connected into NADN. So now that you've done that, we can go back into NADN. And then we're going to open up this chat model here. This is an OpenAI chat model, and we need to add a new credential in here as well. So this API key, you're going to just look up OpenAI API. And then mine just pops up first. So you can see OpenAI API overview. You might have to log in here, but we're going to go up to this top row, select dashboard. And then on the left side, we're going to select API keys. Go back to the top right and select create new API key or create new secret key. Uh, you'll then name it. So you can see I have some created here. You're going to want to record or write this down somewhere and then we're going to copy that same secret key and we can go back to NADN and then you're going to paste that in here. The rest of this you can just leave as is. You're going to click save. Uh, however, I've already connected my account and then we can just leave everything else here the same. So after you've connected the chat model, we are then going to modify the prompt for the agent. This agent is the responsible for creating the text or the caption for the post. So you can see here, this initial prompt, we have two prompts here. This text section is the prompt for the agent, and then we have a system message. So I'll start with this text section and go over what it's actually saying. Uh, it just says you should make an Instagram post about the following topic, and then only respond with the post, and it just prevents it from giving, you know, your post is, and then the caption. It just responds with just the caption. 
which helps us a lot when we're actually automating this. So then it says your response should be formatted for Instagram, including new lines. So you can see in my example here, there are new lines. As you can see there's blank lines in that post and it formats it uh, to actually look how it's supposed to look on Instagram. Let me say never included any links. This is just a part of Instagram. You can't include links in the post. And then it gives us the topic, which this is a variable just representing that previous message from Telegram. And then for the system message here, we are saying you are a social media marketing expert for me who runs a blank. So you just enter uh, the, whatever you're posting content about. So if you're a business owner, the industry of your business, and then you are to create Instagram posts for my business page, ensure that your responses are not too long and is formatted appropriately. Uh, frame the content coming from me. So this is just a issue that I was having with the posts that were being generated. It was referring to me as we, so I just told it to make that quick modification. So if you're getting any posts that you don't like, you can come into this system message or this prompt here and just adjust how it's you know, responding with those posts. And then here I just make sure to say that you should never include a link in the post caption. Instead, tell the user to go to my bio where you can access my YouTube channel. So that again is just saying, don't include links in the post. So once you've modified that prompt, we can go out of there into the OpenAI image generation. So I'll open this up and go over this prompt with you. Uh, it's basically just saying capture a, a high quality image. Uh, I think I had ChatGPT generate this. Um, so you're gonna wanna play around with this and see what uh, prompt generates the best pictures for your post. Uh, I basically just tell it to make realistic images here and then I gave it the post caption which is coming from that previous agent that we just prompted. So it's just saying make a, an image about the following post. And then we can click out of there. We already have all of these set up. So what this does is just sends the image back to us like I showed you before. So it sends this image back to us and then it sends another message with your post. And then inside of this Telegram uh, message, we are basically including a webhook here. I'm not gonna get too much into how this works, but uh, it's basically just a link to this URL and whether we click post or do not post, uh, it routes us down different routes here, you can see. So the post sets a variable answer to post and then it waits for the webhook here and then the if statement routes that uh, response. So if that uh, variable answer here equals post, then it will be true and it will actually post to Instagram and if it's false, it does nothing and we can reprompt it from there. So if you saw my last video about automating Facebook posts, you might have already set up your connections for Instagram. There is one more thing we have to do. And if you didn't see my last video, I'm going to walk you through this process again. So what we can do is click on this node here, and then we're going to create a new credential. The access token, uh, I'm going to walk you through actually getting that. So we're going to go up to the top right here and select open docs. Open this tab. So this is the init in documents or documentation for uh, basically the entire platform. But what we can do is scroll down to this link here under using app access token. So we're gonna click on this meta for developers. So then we're gonna be brought to the meta developers page. From there, we're gonna go up to the top right and select my apps. However, I keep getting this issue where I've had too many redirects to Meta's page, you shouldn't have this issue, but I just went to another browser, so I'm gonna be using Firefox uh, for this. We're just gonna select create a new app here, and then we can name it here. And then we can go to the use cases, we're gonna select other at the bottom, select next, go to the business here, uh, select next, and then I'm going to add a portfolio here. So this is just the business portfolio that my Instagram account is actually connected to. So I'm gonna add that here. 
and then select create app. So then you can see it brings us to this page where we can add products to our app is what they call it. So for Instagram, we're going to click set up. So after you add that product, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. If you also plan on automating Facebook posts, this is a great time to quickly add that uh, ability as well. So to do that, we're just going to add a product. We're going to scroll all the way down to the Facebook login for business and then just select set up here as well. Now, if you don't plan on adding Facebook, uh, just remain on the Instagram screen and then I'll tell you what to do next. Um, so if you're doing Facebook, you'll just be brought to this page and we can just leave everything else here as is. And if you're only doing Instagram, you'll still be on the Instagram page. And all we're just going to do either way, if you're doing Instagram or Instagram and Facebook, we're gonna either going to go up to this app settings here, go to basic. So once you're inside the settings, we need to actually add a privacy policy URL. So this is going to be the privacy policy URL of your website. Uh, just for this example, I'm just going to add a, a fake one here. Don't do this. Add your actual privacy policy URL. We're going to select save changes in the bottom right. And then we can turn that app mode from development to live. Sometimes it does take a minute to actually turn it to a live app. So then once our app is live, we can go up to the top here and go to this tools section. We're going to select graph API explorer. Don't worry about these yet. You won't have these here, but we're going to go to this meta app and add the app that we've just created. So mine was named like Insta vid example. So you're just going to select that meta app that you just created. And then we can go down here and actually add permissions. So I'm going to open these. Uh, sections up and for Instagram all we need are two different permissions so I'm going to go look at my list here that I've made so Instagram basic is one of them and then Instagram content publish is the other so just add these if you plan on just doing Instagram posts if you plan on doing Facebook posts as well we're going to actually add four more so I'll show you those this is only for Facebook so for Facebook we're going to do pages show list and then business management and then pages read engagement and then pages manage posts so again for Instagram you need Instagram basic and Instagram content publish and then for Facebook you need Pages show list, business management, pages read engagement, and then pages manage posts. So once you've added the permissions for Instagram and or Facebook, we then need to go up here and actually select generate an access token. So then we're going to be prompted to log in. I'm going to select continue. I'm going to add, this just lets me add the Facebook account here. And then I'm going to select the business portfolio, continue, and then I'm going to select my Instagram account here. Select continue here, select save, got it, and now we have that access token. So then what we can do here is go to this top row, we're going to type me slash accounts, we're going to select submit. And then make sure that it prompts us or it gives us uh, just this kind of giant response here. So I'm going to copy this API token access token from this response. Copy this. And then I'm going to go up to tools again. And I'm going to go to access token debugger. So I'll show you why we're doing this. We're going to paste that access token into here and select debug. And we're going to scroll down and you can see that it expires in about an hour and I don't know what Facebook expects us to do with an access token that expires in an hour you know it took us what a couple minutes to actually set this up and we only have an hour to use it so what we can do is scroll down and select extend access token here at the bottom and then we're going to copy this access token that it just gave us so copy this one and we can go back up here and paste in this new one that we just got and select debug and make sure that it actually expires in about two months so now that we've got that access token 
we can go back to NADN and paste that access token in here. Select save and then you should be good to go. So now that you've connected your account, we then need to fill in this node here. I'm gonna leave this blank, but we need to go over to our Facebook Meta Business Suite. So I'm gonna look this up just to show you. So look up Facebook or Meta Business Suite. You can log in here. It's probably the first link. So you're gonna log into your account and then we're gonna to go to the bottom here and select settings. The settings, we're gonna go under this account section here. We're going to go to Instagram accounts. Go over here and then you, under your Instagram account, you're gonna see your ID. So we're just gonna click on that and it will copy the Instagram ID. And then we can go back to NADN and we're gonna paste that under this node section here. So the rest of it is just the, we're publishing a media post, the image URL, so it gives it the URL for the image that was generated, and then the output from the agent generating the post caption here. And then we can go out of this, go into this next one, and then we're gonna paste in that same node here, the Instagram ID number. So you're gonna paste in that same number here. And then what this does, Instagram is a little different than Facebook. So we have this first one that's actually creating, I guess like a, a draft of a post, if you will. So this creates the media and then this publishes it. So you can see media publish here. And then we have the creation ID, which is passed through from that create, uh, when we're creating the media. And then we have the URL for the image and the post caption again. So all of this should be filled in already. You don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, just explaining what it does briefly, but and then once you've done that, you can just select save up here at the top and then turn it from inactive to active, select got it, and then we can go back to our telegram chat here, close out of this, back to telegram, and then we can test the agent here. So you can prompt it, say create a post about a given topic, wait for it to be generated. So you can see it gives us that image here, then the caption for the post, a couple of hashtags here at the bottom, and then we can either select post or do not post. So I'm gonna select post, open the link, this is just the webhook, close out of it, and then if I go back to my Instagram account, and you can see that that post has in fact been posted to my Instagram with all the hashtags, the image, etc. So yeah, that is how you set up an AI agent to actually automate your Instagram post. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you got anything from this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Have a good one.